So let's take a look at some eighth notes. And what is an eighth note? It's twice as fast as a quarter note. And a quarter note, remember, is the primary beat of the music. Um, and again, in 4-4 four, four time, we have four quarter notes per measure, and we just count them. One, two, three, four. So if we were to double that, it would be eighth notes. And to do that, we're simply going to add up strums into the mix. And again, this is not going to sound like a very exciting strumming pattern yet, because we're just developing the basic rhythm. Um, but if I'd go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, that would be one and two and three and four and. And that takes the same amount of time that it would take to strum four quarter notes. One, quarter notes, eighth notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. And again, just really relax that right arm when you strum. Try to keep it even and try to keep the, uh, the volume even throughout as well. So we're not accenting anything at this point, just developing really steady eighth notes. So if I did one full measure, eight strums of eighth notes on the D, a full measure of C add nine, and then two full measures of G, it should sound like this. So that's the basic foundation for eighth notes and quarter notes. Uh, and I would also mention that if that's tricky for you, uh, the chances are that it's the left hand that's slowing you down. Um, you can obviously slow the whole exercise down and just strum slower but keep it even. But if you're having trouble switching between the left hand chords while you're strumming, that's a good indicator that you really need to break these two uh, parts, the, what the left hand's doing and what the right hand's doing, into two completely separate exercises where you could just count with the chords, one, two, three, four, one, two, and so on. So you're just watching your fingers move on the fretboard as you count and try to move them in time. And then just with the right hand, you could just mute the strings and just practice that even eighth note strum. Now that doesn't sound too difficult, but it's actually kind of tricky for most beginners to keep really steady eighth notes. And it is a critical part of the development of good rhythm. And uh, so let's take a look at some more interesting uh, strumming patterns in the next clip. Hello everybody, I'm Graham Nash. I'm about to try and show you my song, Teach Your Children. Teach your children well, their father's hell. Since D, G, D, and the only other odd chord is this B minor. Your dreams. The one they pick is the one you know by. 